I would just like to let you uh, behold this beautiful <laughs> code right here. Let me. Can I maximize you on this ping? Is there a way I, so I can see? I think yes, you'd like double click on me and you'll I've got it it. hopefully show up. I've got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> yes. so there are some things that I had to do because I couldn't figure out how to use a specific operator. I couldn't figure out how to use the horse operator on my on my uh, collection. <laughs> what? What the heck is the horse operator? Uh, initialize array with capacity. So you can actually see right here, <laughs> I initialize my collection with zero. So uh, that's like obviously really not a great way to go about it. But here, what, here wait, we are. Wait, 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 Prime. Wait, back up. So you got to take me through this a little bit. Like yeah. just, just start at line one. What is checkered flag grapes? I bet you could actually guess what checkered flag means. That start, like we're starting? Yes, the main stopping? function. Okay, it, okay, it, okay. Main function, go, right? Okay, so, okay, so okay. in between any, like, uh, the the berries and the watermelon, that's a code block. And it's more than just okay. a code block. There's actually something, you, it's actually, are you familiar with uh, Groovy? If no, you're familiar with Groovy, no. you can also do, with a code block, you can actually also take in arguments, and it becomes a closure. And then you can actually okay. execute it with arguments. So it can also do that okay. as well. So anyways, okay, okay. so then I read the program's arguments. How how is that how is that doing that? Um, okay, so let's see. So this is the module. So this is the program. This is like the the arguments to the program, and we're gonna call okay. the static function computer. So okay. it's the computer's okay. arguments, and then Bang okay. executes it, and okay. that will be put into <laughs> arguments. Okay. Okay. This no, is this great. is actually where the this is where the language gets good. You just hold on now. Yeah, yeah, what we're yeah. gonna do it's right here is already good. The, what do you mean gets good? It's already good. It's already good. So read it kind of like Lisp. So I'm gonna okay. get the yeah. first argument out of the list of arguments. Then okay. I'm gonna take that argument. And I'm gonna coerce it into an integer. Okay. But then that might come out with an error. It actually has result okay. objects in here. So it actually is a higher okay. order monadic type style language okay. right here. Okay. So I'm okay. gonna unwrap it with my beer. We're gonna have a good time, and we're gonna unwrap okay. it. And if it explodes, okay. it explodes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to create a new random number generator, call it Rand. Okay. And then I'm going to get a new number from Rand somewhere between 0 to 99. Is that a, I'm sorry, is that a slot machine? Yeah, that's a slot machine, 777. <laughs> Do you have any idea how long? Like someone, there was a there was a person in chat. His name was oh. Elliot, and he like gave me so many code examples, but it still took me forever to figure out oh, like yeah. what the hell's going on in this language. Okay, this is oh, where it gets yeah. really good. Are you ready for this one? So I'm going to create a new collection, which is ice cream. Of, ice cream, uh, yeah. You get it like it's a bowl cream? of yeah, different ice creams. Okay. It's a collection, okay. no, and no, this yeah, makes perfect sense. This is a type, but here's the difference: the type is a number. But it okay. is an iterable. An iterable is a seashell wrap an eggplant wrapped item. So it's an iterable number. A so it's a so collection how does of iterable number. Eggplant? I don't know. I never got it. Because, okay, that's a tough one. All right. Okay. And it looks pretty inappropriate. Like I haven't quite it, figured out what it's trying to do. So okay, so the function's obviously okay. new. So it takes in a new type, and that's so it actually has types on types. It has generics. Now here's okay. the best part about the language. Are you ready for this one? Yes. This goes into array A, a new A, but okay. it's a mutable A. So the language actually the has immutability ah. by default. So you only okay. you have to specify you'll change it for it to be changeable. I see. So it's like it's like having unconst as the thing you would type in a language instead of exactly. Const. So yeah, it I forces see. you to say, hey, this thing's mutable, which I actually think is the superior yeah. way to actually uh, declare your stuff because that way you show your intentions right away. This is the okay. only thing that changes. Uh, so then we have your basic for loop, right? I think that's pretty obvious. And I'm going to okay. set array position uh, with a zero. I'm going to push on. Actually, this I believe is a push operator. I'm going to push the into bear. A, the bear is a push. Yeah, the bear is a push uh, into array <laughs> a zero. <laughs> this is so wild. Okay, so now okay. we're going to get into the good stuff. Are you ready for the is good that stuff? A pig, is that a pig snout? Uh, you know, I never what? figured out what it is, but now what that you say, that? is that a pig snout? I thought it was a hard ass. Uh, I had no idea okay, that it's a pig okay, snout. It's okay. definitely a pig snout. You're actually right. That's a pig snout okay, for sure. I, all right. All right, so classic for I up to a, a 10,000, okay. for J up to 10,000. Yeah. So then I'm going to go like this. So obviously I get um, I get the, the ith position of I plus. That's what, that's the, that, what's the pig snout? Is, is access? Array in, array? Yeah, it's array or dictionary access. Oh, because the, the, pig, the pig is finding it. He's like sniffing it out. <laughs> oh, I never even thought about it. It's so good. Yeah, yes. you're exactly right. All right, so good, yes. you got it. And then we're gonna plus the remainder of Ju. Remainder, of course. Uh, what being, is that? Is that th is that yeah, a throw it away stuff? Away? Yeah, yeah, throw it away. So it's the remainder, <laughs> pretty good. 
So we're going to add those two together, and then we're going to oh set it as the ith position. This is amazing. It's a beautiful language. This is amazing. And the thing is, is that you specify both the getter and the setter like this, and it's actually kind of cool how that works. It's like a really wow. interesting language that you can like layer on array accessing as also assignment by having assignment being like the post operation as opposed to the pre operation. I don't really get it, but it's like it seems like it's actually kind of a cool idea. Do the exact it's same thing. It's kind of remarkable again. how much time they spent on this. Yeah, considering they have uh, they Thank have you. result objects, they have options. So if you access something out of a dictionary, what comes out is actually the option of the type, not the type itself, because it may be null. Right, the thing might not exist. Oh, wow. Well, okay. You know, classic. And then this yep. last one here. Let me move myself from this. Uh, smiley face is console. So then you can. Okay. So I'm gonna get the. Uh, I'm gonna get the the arth position of yep. a. Yep. I'm gonna convert the arth position into a string because obviously you can't just print out a, a number. And then I'm gonna console log out that. So that's what the three bangs are. Execute, 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 you execute. It's very RPN feeling. Like it feels like uh, using an old like Hewlett Packard calculator or something, mm -hmm. where you did like three space four space plus or whatever, right? Yeah. To add them together, which again is like lispy, right? It's that's very lisp. Yeah, feeling. yeah, yeah, yeah. For those that don't know, that's reverse reverse Polish notation. Yeah, yeah. You can't uh, just toss out RPN in there. And, and... Sorry, I get yeah, these these days. No one knows what that is, but there used to be calculators that you, that is how you. Well, they probably still are. Yeah. Uh, calculators where that was the way you do it. You enter it in in Lisp style. So it's sort of a stack. You know, things keep going on the stack and then operators reduce things on the stack. It was very hard to understand how to use, but my understanding was that if you did, meaning if you were someone who ended up getting into RPN, it was like way more efficient and you never go back. Like it's like the RPN yeah. calculator people will just like, yeah, well, always RPN, right? Uh, yeah, so. it's like me using Vim, right? You know, I just talk exactly. about the glories of Vim, and everyone's like, yep. yeah, I can just also just press a button. Like, I can just go like this, and I'm like, yeah, but if you train for 10,000 hours, it's yeah. just like, yep. yeah, I don't care. <laughs> so there you go. This is the beauties of Emoji Lang. Unfortunately, this one was the slowest. Well, you know, but it's the most beautiful. It is. Right? It's the most visually stunning. So it I is. think you have to appreciate that aspect of it. Performance you isn't it? everything. It's true. It's true. Sometimes just the aesthetics of a language really are what make that's you right. appreciate it. But let me can I right. can I show you something that's kind of funny about this? There's sure. only one place where you can't have emojis, and that's in variable names. So args cannot oh. contain an emoji. But if you want to create a method on a class, it must be an okay. emoji. So basically, emojis are all sort of verbal, like they're all verbs. The yeah. the the nouns have to be something else. Correct. Yeah. And then okay. obviously I actually had one tab. I'm not sure what happened right there, but I actually well, put in yay, one tab. man. Hey, you know, it was a tough day at the emoji mines. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm impressed you were able to get that working. To be honest, that's kind of nuts. Like I would have been like, wait, what is the pig snout doing? You know, like uh, it, <laughs> it took an unusual amount yeah. of time. I probably spent like I, five hours of emoji code learning to really get there. That sounds like yeah. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> well, there you go. There's some emoji code.